If you have not heard of the tool Zapier, it's basically like a magic wand for your business. Hey there, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life, and we are a systems and consulting agency that helps you set up your systems and softwares for success. I'm a ClickUp consultant and a HoneyBook Pro, and typically on my channel, I'm talking about those two tools, but I had to make another video going through how we use Zapier for our onboarding process and how we connect all of our tools together. Long story short, anytime a new client books a project within our CRM HoneyBook, Zapier will trigger and then set up the basics of everything that has to be done to onboard the client. After that, our awesome project manager goes in, gathers all the details, and sends it over to the client in a welcome email. Using a tool like Zapier to automate tools that aren't natively integrated saves our team hours upon hours. So in this video, I'm so excited to go through how to automate your client onboarding process with Zapier. Let's dive in. So I want to first give you a peek into our HoneyBook automation before I show you what happens in Zapier so you can see what is happening in the booking process. So once I go ahead and send a proposal for a HoneyBook setup to a client, I have this automation that I apply that will then follow up with them on the proposal. So 24 hours later, five days after that, and seven days after that. And then if they never respond, I'm just going to go ahead and archive the project. But immediately after they pay the first payment, it's going to send them a welcome email being like, we're so excited to welcome you into becoming a client. In the next 48 business hours, we're going to send over everything you need to kick off. So that will trigger to let them know like, hey, we're on it. And then we'll go ahead and do these few things of like, I'm going to now assign this project to my project manager. She's going to go ahead and do a few things that she has to do to onboard them in order to go ahead and approve and send this onboarding email. So what happens in the meantime, as all of that's happening, she's doing the it, behind the scenes internal stuff to set up this project. Well, our Zapier automation is going to trigger and save her at least 20 to 30 minutes in this process. So what this does is you'll see that this is going to trigger anytime a new project is booked in HoneyBook. It will trigger the Zapier automation. What it's going to do then is only continue if the project type is HoneyBook setup because we have different ones for different project types. Then we have a filter in here that's going to extract the company name. Okay, so because we need that in order to set up the folder and the information properly. Let me go ahead and zoom in in this so you could see this a little bit better. Okay, then what this is going to do is you can see in our Google Drive in clients, we have HoneyBook builds. So in here, we have from 2021 all the way to 2024, and then we have this HoneyBook setup template. So what this Zapier automation is going to do is create this entire structure with the click of a button. So once it goes ahead and extracts the company name, then it is going to create the client folder. So it'll be the project name. So it'll be like the company name dash HoneyBook setup. So it'd be like DeSilva Life dash HoneyBook setup. Um, and then it will create it in the 2024 HoneyBook build. So note, these do have to be updated at the end of each year, but it literally takes probably less than five minutes. And then the rest of the year moving forward, it's automated. So the first thing it's going to do is create the general client folder. After that, it's going to you'll see we have branding assets, file and form assets, their canned email outline doc, their project portal in a Google doc, and their workflow spreadsheet. So it's going to create the branding folder in the parent folder. So if I click on edit, you can actually see what this looks like. So I am going to this drive. Sometimes it, it removes it, but this still works and is active. So we're going to create the branding assets folder in Google Drive. And where are we going to put that? We're going to put that in the folder ID that was created, aka 
the parent folder for that client. Then same thing, we're gonna do file and form assets. That's gonna be in step number four. It's not gonna be in number five because we want it to be in the main parent folder. The other thing that we do is we actually create a recording folder in Dropbox. We keep all of our media storage in Dropbox. And so we want to be able to automatically have that company names folder stored in there. So then we go ahead and we will create in DeSilva Life, Clients, HoneyBook Setups, 2024 HoneyBook Setups, the folder name that is the project name. Again, client name dash HoneyBook Setup. So then it's going to create the client portal document. You'll see that it's going to come from the template document, client name dash HoneyBook Build Project Portal, which is this one right here. It's then going to have the new document name, which is going to be the output from extracting the company name in step number three dash HoneyBook Build Project Portal. The folder it's going to put it into is number four, which is that parent folder. And then what's really cool about Zapier as well is if I click into this document, you'll see that if you add these kind of like smart fields with two curly brackets and then a code in there, client name, company name, email, start date here as well. So like welcome client name, then you can actually input those fields. So Zapier will read that and then be like, okay, what do you want us to put in client name, company name, client email, start date, etc. cetera. Um, so you'll see then this will be dropped in that folder. Um, so super, super cool. You can even take it a step farther to customize your portal. And then canned email document. So it will create this one and drop it in number four as well. And then sometimes we hit these like funny kinks in Zapier where like for Google, docs you saw, right? I will be able to go ahead and create this template document and ask me what the folder is. But for some reason, the Google Sheets does not ask me that question. You could see it's just the action is what's the name? What is the spreadsheet to copy? Are there any headers? But there's no like what folder do you want me to put it into? So we had to create one extra step in here to then move that file that was created to the folder. So it's not always easy setting these things up, but I hope that this tutorial and this walkthrough showed you how you can map out the settings and do these things to create it. And then even like when you hit a snag like this, that you can still maybe then look into, okay, can I add another step to be able to move that thing or rename that thing, whatever it may be. So once this has gone ahead and uploaded, now everything is set in here. All my PM has to do is come into here, preview the onboarding email, and then add the link to their setup portal and onboarding questionnaire, which is this document here. So everything is set up automatically. There's going to be no room for human error. It's going to be exactly what it needs to be named. All the documents, nothing will get missed and it saves us so much time. So after that, we then go ahead and move forward with implementation, all the things, but I hope that tutorial was helpful for you to see how you can set up Zapier to automate your client onboarding process. So I hope that was eye-opening for you to see what is possible with this incredible tool. If you want to go more granular and learn more about this tool and how to get started with using it in your business, I'm actually hosting a training in our system school membership and inviting you guys to come. I'll drop the link to sign up for the training in the description below if you want to join us. If you have any other questions about Zapier or different systems and tools in general that you would love for me to review on my channel, feel free to drop a comment below. If you don't know this by now, I am obsessed with systems and softwares, automations, all the things that, that can help my business run smoother. So I love to create educational content for you guys so that you can gain the tools to do this as well. If you like this video and found it helpful, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.